residence right there. So also the governor residence is right here on the left side. And also if you guys look right here on the left, you can see the beach here, the governor beach. And a sign put up right here, no load music are allowed because the governor, he do not know how to party. Now, we actually enter the West, in the West Bay area. Now, we have five district, ladies and gentlemen, in Grand Cayman. We have three islands. We got two more sister islands, Little Cayman and also Cayman Brack. Now, in Little Cayman, ladies and gentlemen, the residents that live there, we have 250 residents, 300 at this point in time. Now, Cayman Brack, we got 12,000 to 12,500 residents that live there. In Grand Cayman, we have over 55,000 to 60,000 live right here like me and my friend all right that's we are local now just to let you guys know um that we can look at each intersection on the stop on the flight pole we have also our cameras to see anyone do any wrongs here in the cayman island because the cayman island is so safe ladies and gentlemen anytime you get caught here with a firearm you're supposed to go to prison to 10 years to go to 20 just to get caught with firearm here so you'd have to tell the ladies and gentlemen, the Cayman Islands is very safe. I'm not going to say 100% safe, because nothing in this world is 100%. So, but I can tell you, it's one of the safest places in the world. I would trade the Cayman Islands to live anywhere else, but just the Cayman Islands, in Grand Cayman. So just ladies and gentlemen, we are like two minutes away from the Turtle Farm Center. So I'm just going to give you guys a little recap back on the first two rules of the bus. Also, I can tell you, your bus number, ladies and gentlemen, is bus number 11. Your bus driver name is Jeremy Jackson. So ladies and gentlemen, when you guys are doing the tour in the Turner Center, they're gonna give you guys a return time to meet me right where I drop you guys off so I can take you guys back to hell. Right? We all signed up to go to hell, right? Exactly, so make sure that you got your passport because Jeremy Jackson is going to be an immigration officer as well. So I'm gonna stamp you guys your passport so make sure that you guys are have it ready when you guys go to hell. If you don't have it, you can purchase two gift cards for one dollar and I can stamp it for you as well. So don't worry, you're still in the loop. So you guys make sure be in time because sometimes if one person hold up the entire bus, that's gonna be frustrated for the next 16 or 17 guests on the bus. So I would be really appreciated if you guys just be on time for me as best as you can. Two minutes over is not, not, not too bad or three minutes, but 10 minutes and 15 minutes, unbelievable. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Turtle Farm Center. Your tour guide, ladies and gentlemen, this morning will be Kevin from Home Alone. So you guys are know already, what can Kevin do from Home Alone, right? All right, giving a lot of trouble.
When you get to hell, you're gonna walk straight on the back. That's where you guys gonna see the attractions. You guys can take some pictures. We have some wooden carving stuff around there. You guys can take your pictures with the sign of the devil himself. And also, you guys can see the rock and also take pictures of it. And I will tell you guys all about the rock later on. And also, you guys can do whatever you want in there. So just to let you guys know, we are going to the middle side where you guys can get the post office stuff as well to do express as well. So just remember the first shop is where you guys can get passport stamp. If you want, just let them know that is your driver is Jeremy Jackson, Michael Jackson brother. Bus number 11, all right? Just tell them says number 11 send you guys. So you just remember guys, we have 25 to 20 minutes. Georgetown here in uh, Georgetown in Grand Cayman is the capital. The West Bay is where the Turtle Center and Hell are located, is right here. Also, we got Blood Town, the previous capital. We also got the East End, the wreck of the Ten Sail, because the Cayman Islands are tax free, because we have a massive wreck of shipwreck here. If anyone didn't know, uh, we got 10 ship a uh, King George a turn. Uh, 10 of his ship was wrecked here in the Cayman Islands in the 1700s. So my great grandparents, they rescue most of everyone. Only eight person lost their life. King George said, the Cayman Islands locals, they do a great job to save all of his armors and on, as his families was on board as well. So he offered the Cayman Islands, tax-free islands. As long as the Cayman Islands are not independent, we won't pay the tax once forever. So that's the deal. So England should give us a little budget to help ourselves as well. But we still open the tourism to help ourselves with a little bit more. So he invite you guys here to explore the beautiful islands and our local cultures. That's a rental car. There's another drive on the left. As you guys can see, I'm driving on the left side for morning because we drive on the left from Monday to Thursday. On the weekend, we drive on the right side. Okay. Don't believe that one, though. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. 
You would wonder if tomorrow is Friday, right? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You better drive on the left every day. You know, on the weekend sometimes, I mean, we have a lot of people driving on the right. Yeah. That's what accident happens. So we always said on the weekend, some of us drive on the right. So just to let you guys know the islands here is very safe, as I was telling you guys. Not even the police officers that you see on the street doesn't carry any gun here. We do not allow gun here at night, like those weapons on the street. That is for your home, in your kitchen. So no guns are allowed for anyone to carry. Just remember, if you get caught, it's 10 to 20 years in prison. If it's your first offense. Second one is double. On the left, go around. That is the Cayman Yacht Club. Just around the corner, a lot of yachts are there. Coming up in the May, we have the Cayman Batabano Carnival in the Caribbean. The whole entire stretch right here, closer for half a day. So no one. You only have one way, so the one way close on the street, so you have to use one down and one up on the side. Just for the parade that day. On the side is where the four seasons are supposed to happen on the right. And on the left as well. We get hit by Hurricane Ivan 14 years ago. Everyone who work here, even though we have 120 six nationalities work here guys everyone who work or live here in the cayman islands has to speak english doesn't matter where you're from or where you come from you gotta speak english so if you ask anyone any question here in english they will have to answer you politely because if you don't pass the english test that means you're not you're not supposed to even here in the first place to work if you can you come like from Filipino or anywhere in the world and Spanish country. If you reach at the airport, the passport will tell what country you're from. If you are not from the United States or England or Jamaica, you have to do an English test. And if you fail, you have to turn back. Straight up. That's the golf course for the North Sound golf course as well on the right is the main lobby side of the Ritz Carlton I was telling you guys about but on the left right here is where the tennis courts are the helicopter landing and that's where you guys can see the Ritz Carlton golf course as well and also the villa is over that side exclusive side We used to have a lot of iguanas on this road, all around, with the government making a, with a bounty hunt on their head, $5 per iguana. So anyone catch an iguana is a $5, so you're not going to see much right now. The, the man who built this place here, that gentleman named Mr. Dart. He, as I tell you guys, he's from Texas. Responds for all the styrofoam cup coffee plates from all over the world. Now he's the most, he's the number one investor here in the Cayman Islands. He's building a supermarket right here called Foster Food here, IGA. So right here guys is just the common beam just let you know just like a little town like where you go you guys just have georgetown where the ships are but right here it's called the common on wednesdays we have a local 
produce, selling going over here, you know, the Kilmana Bay, we get the local produce, markets at the Kilmana Bay. So as you can see, this is just a little town itself. You gotta have everything right here. A lot of stuff for you guys to see if you guys come here for more than three days, you know? They got the crystal cave where you guys want to go. They got the wine company. If you guys take a straight look down, you can see where the water taxi to go to the next side of the islands and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff to show you guys. Fortunately, I don't have so many stops. I can't make so many stops for you guys. <laughs> so right here is one of the newest mall we had here. Beautiful. See, we have all the banks, all the theater system here. We got the school, we got the clinic. Fortunately, I can't go any further because the next time I have to go to the schools and where the residents are left. Now you guys can say Jeremy Jackson. Then do what I think for you guys today, all right? Show you my beautiful little town called Common Bay as well. So right here on the left is where we have the butterfly farm. Local Matala who just opened like three weeks ago. As I was telling you guys, the Cayman Islands in Grand Cayman, we got two more sister islands, Little Cayman and Cayman Brack. They are five miles apart. Then they came in and came and brought. And they are 89 miles away from here. They are 450 miles away from Miami. Two and 150 miles away from Cuba. 168 miles away from Jamaica. Go to Miami in an airplane to here. It's just one hour and seven minutes or ten minutes. Twenty-five minutes to Cuba on the plane. Jamaica is just forty minutes. Just remember the Cayman Islands are still owned by England guys. If you guys didn't remember, still owned by England. We are not independent. Christopher Columbus was discovered in Cayman Islands for Spain. Spain handed over the Cayman Islands for a gift to England. <laughs> 